let me tell you about Detective Gerald Sloan. Uh, this is an amazing young man that represents the Denver Police Department uh, in an incredible way. Gerald first came to District 1 in 2007 and we knew right from the start that th he was special. Gerald brings uh, an unparalleled work ethic, uh, works hard from the moment his shift starts until the moment his shift no ends and often uh, even beyond. Uh, in my spare time I uh, coach uh, Little League Football, youth football. One, 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 one. Go get him. 24, 24. Good job. Hey, that looks sharp. Great job, fellas. Uh, Gerald has volunteered his time with the Powell Athletic League, taking uh, a, a group of kids, young kids, and following them all the way through the program until they graduate and move on to uh, higher level teams. I have been a part of their lives consistently for, honestly, you know, six straight years. They call me constantly. I, I, I go to different sporting events to see him. I not only don't just coach him, I go see him play basketball, baseball, and I see him throughout the summer. A lot of us are single moms. A lot of the kids, they, you know, they, they look up to him. So, I mean, it is a father figure type of role that he's in, too, for a lot of these boys. Growing up uh, in the same neighborhood they came from, uh, my youth coach was extremely important for me growing up. Uh, growing up in a single family with just a mother, having that male role model definitely helped me and my development and I wanted to pass on the same thing that helped me when I was that same age. A couple months ago and the, and the kids asked, they're like, coach, can we get new jerseys? And I was just like, yeah, but you know, new jerseys are going to be expensive. So I shopped around and I found a whole setup for a hundred bucks. So then I went back to the parents. I'm like, hey, it's going to cost a hundred bucks. The parents were like, no, no, and no. You know, after I see my boys and their look on their face, I was like, nah, I think I can make it happen. So uh, I decided to purchase the jerseys uh, on my own end you know, and just pay for them myself. You know, I brought 30 jerseys at $100 a pop. So it was more or less of uh, me giving back to them. Seeing their faces when they got it was the was the reason why you do things like that. Players, listen up. Parents, the jerseys came out to $2,900. That's the bad news. The good news is, it's gonna cost you guys nothing. Okay. Seeing their faces, seeing the parent faces was uh, a priceless moment for sure. It means you know, so much more than just a jersey. He puts in thousands of hours in just a few months. I know he don't want nobody to know that or anything like that, but he's an amazing person. And that's what I tell him, it's, this is, a lifelong friendship that I'm always going to be in their corner regardless, rain, snow or shine, they can always, you know, depend on me being there for them.